Hey folks, Rich here at rcinformer.com. Thanks for checking out this video on the Arm Safe Arming Kit from Schumacher, Schumacher Products LLC. Uh, you can get this thing at uh, sharprc.com and uh, they give you this uh, nice instruction manual uh, how to install the thing and it's really a very, a very simple system and a, a very uh, simple uh, inline switch is really what it is. Um, the reason you would want this thing uh, is to uh, really use on any airplane that does not have an easily accessible battery. Now I'm going to be installing it on the new Great Plains uh, Cirrus SR22 that has a bolt-on canopy. Two bolts go in the side. This airplane is meant for either glow or electric. And for glow it's just fine. For electric, when you put your battery in uh, and, and, and install and attach your battery to your electrical system, the plane is now armed and then you go ahead and you secure uh, the canopy down with screws. So in order to get at the battery and disarm it again, uh, you have to get out a screwdriver and take the screws off. So this is perfect for that because this is an inline switch, guys, uh, and a switch plate mounts to any flat surface and essentially it goes between your battery okay, and your ESC and it acts as an arming device. So now with an airplane such as this, you can um, um, connect your battery. The plane is not armed. You can put your cockpit on uh, and you can get out to the, the flight line to go fly and all you have to do is insert this little plug okay, into uh, your uh, female deans right here through the base unit which you mount to the side of the airplane and now your airplane's armed. If you need to disarm the airplane all you got to do is remove the little arming plug and again you can see that arming plug right here. It's a real nice clean unit uh, and it installs very easily. Now let's take a look at uh, how it installs on the uh, Cirrus SR22. Installation of the ArmSafe arming system is uh, really simple guys. I'm going to mount mine on the bottom of my Cirrus right here uh, behind the firewall and uh, all that takes really is uh, using the, uh, the internal ring here which is uh, threaded for screws. Uh, you're going to mount, put this right where you want it and where you want the uh, screw holes to be and you're going to literally trace that out and use it as a pattern. Same thing really with the hole. So trace that out, drill a hole through there, cut it and round it out with your uh, Dremel tool and, uh, and, and, and the whole thing will fit into place. All you need to do at that point is uh, you take your, uh, your mounting plate uh, and you put this down into that hole, okay? And then this mounting ring will go in from the underside and secure with these three screws. Once that's in place, um, your uh, female connector that's gonna attach to all your batteries is gonna go into here and it's gonna be secure, secured here, as you can see, with these uh, uh, special uh, set screws that they give you. And you see they have pointy edges on them and you can see as I put the Allen wrench in, which all this stuff is included, um, you, can, you can rotate that uh, so that point, as you can see here, will very easily um, and positively uh, bite into your Dean's connector and keep this in place. Now this thing can be mounted uh, countersunk in position. So uh, for example, uh, you have uh, your, uh, your, your female end plugged in here through the back side and you'll be able to plug your, uh, your male end in and uh, your arming plug like that and it will be countersunk and that's the only thing that's going to stick out of the side of the fuselage or the underside of the fuselage. Now you can see this thing comes pretty complete. Again, it has the, the, the mounting plate, uh, the back plate for the uh, screws to go in, the set screws are included with this thing, uh, give you an Allen wrench and everything you need. Uh, the, the female end, the arming end, you also get um, uh, this uh, length of uh, heat shrink tubing and uh, you can choose your gauge of wire, uh, 14 gauge, 12 gauge or, or 10 gauge depending on what you need for your airplane. Here's a quick look at how simple it is to mount the uh, arm safe switch plate. You basically use this uh, inside ring as a guide for the outside. You put it in place, you mark it with a pencil uh, and you simply remove it. Uh, from here you just take a drill bit uh, and you drill several holes in here, uh, remove the, uh, any excess material so, the, uh, so the, uh, the, the switch plate can fit into place. Then you go ahead and you uh, uh, put the switch plate in position, uh, drill your three screws that hold it in place and you put your three screws through. You go ahead and you mount your uh, aluminum plate from the uh, inside and your switch plate is uh, secured in position. The next step in installing the arm safe switch is uh, to actually attach the uh, provided uh, female Dean's connector. And as you can see here, um, this, this picture looks really just like my setup. You can see the arm safe setup down there, just like in the picture. And you can see my Dean's connector here coming off of my ESC. 
And uh, what we're going to do is remove the red wire, just like it shows right here. We're going to use the supplied uh, Dean's connector and wire, which you've seen. I already pre-tinned and uh, soldered it on here. And we're just going to put it in line uh, with this, uh, with this uh, red connector. And then the red connector can go down into the arm safe system and uh, install from the outside. With all the soldering done here, guys, you can see from the ESC, uh, the arm safe arming switch is, uh, uh, is, is plugged into the female end. It's all soldered in position. Okay, and your battery end comes here, and that'll plug right into the battery as normal. Um, it doesn't get too much better than that, guys. Pretty much looks just like the picture, and it's real easy to install. Now, to complete the installation process, you can see way down there, I removed uh, the, uh, the uh, mounting ring, uh, the plastic outside bracket, um, just for the purposes of mounting this and making it easier. Uh, it's a good idea to take, uh, you know, the, uh, the arm safe end, uh, insert the whole thing uh, down into this hole, and then complete the installation from the other side. With the airplane flipped over, you can see here the plug as it uh, comes out of the fuselage. Now, I pre-mounted this just to try it out to make sure it was okay, but if you can see that little dot, that little indentation, right there on the, uh, on the uh, female side of the plug, and uh, one on this side as well. Well, that comes from uh, the uh, set screws on the side here, and I'm going to show you how that goes in. Um, you simply just remove the, uh, the uh, arming switch. Uh, you put your uh, plate on and you put your arming switch uh, back in. And what you want to do is you want to set the height of this thing. You can have it kind of stick out or be flush mounted or put wherever you want. I just decided to make mine flush mounted like this. Uh, and then you go ahead and you take your, uh, your Allen wrench and you go ahead and you secure those in position. Now you don't want to over tighten them because if you over tighten them, uh, all you're going to end up doing really is uh, just uh, stretching out uh, this, uh, this lower base unit and then it won't fit back into the hole. So, Really all you want to do is just check the security of these, make sure they just gradually and gently sort of bite into that plastic. Uh, and you can see here, you can remove uh, the arming switch and now that whole thing is uh, recessed in there. Now, if you want to have it flush mounted, you can go ahead and do that, that'll work just fine. Uh, but uh, this is pretty much uh, how the arm safe system uh, works and plugs into place. So all you need to do at that point is just put this back into place, uh, install your screws, and you now have a nice uh, flush mounted arming switch. As we look at the arm safe system uh, completely installed inside the airplane, you can see it is a really neat and clean uh, installation. Uh, a couple notes here, you notice the aluminum ring that I installed in there. If you have a wood plate like I have, I specially installed this wood mounting plate just for uh, the arm safe uh, and the uh, front cowl, lower cowl screws that I put in. Um, if you have a plate like that, you do not uh, really need this aluminum ring. The screws uh, will tap into it. Uh, keep in mind, these screws actually are kind of special screws. Um, they are actually um, not uh, totally uh, round, and I'm going to try and show you a, a zoom in on this. They're actually triangular, and the tip of them is tapered. So these are intended to, to tap into that aluminum. I thought the aluminum was threaded, but it's not. These screws are designed specifically to tap into that. Um, I went ahead and mounted it here, uh, even though I didn't need it, uh, just to show you what the completed uh, installation looks like. And again, guys, uh, this is a very neat and very clean uh, installation. Here's one last look at the uh, arm safe arming plug installed on my uh, Cirrus uh, SR22 from Great Plains. You can see here I have a white base unit. And when you order this thing from Sharp RC, uh, you can get it with a white or a, or a black back plate to match uh, your airplane. And you can see how nicely uh, that this, uh, this white one matches. Now, uh, I would speculate that if you have an odd color airplane, uh, you want to match the paint. I don't see a reason why you couldn't paint the outside of this uh, plastic uh, unit to match your airplane. Now, you can mount this thing on the bottom, you can mount it on the side, anywhere where you have a flat surface on the airplane. Uh, the Great Plains Cirrus SR22 has such a, a nice paint job on this fiberglass. I really didn't want to have uh, the switch real visible. So I decided to put it underneath with the white uh, uh, back plate and you can see it, it really disappears. You don't even know it's there. Um, and it's a very, very uh, low profile. Now I don't have any fear of this thing falling out. It's in there nice and tight. Um, it's also important to note with my installation, I have a separate receiver battery in this airplane uh, to power the receiver and servo. So even if some fluke occurrence were to happen, this battery were to pop out, or I'm sorry, the plug were to pop out of the airplane, fall out, uh, it would just cut the engine off. And I would still have control of the airplane and be able to glide it to a landing uh, and so forth. So, uh, but to give you an idea of uh, how, uh, how tough this is, it's very secure, it's got a nice rubber base on it. You grab onto it, 
and pull it out. And uh, you can see it takes some effort to, to get this thing out of there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and arm it for you. Uh, I have the airplane uh, receiver battery plugged in. I have a 6L pack in the airplane and the canopy is secure. And this is what's going to happen. This is the condition you're going to have your airplane in when you're getting ready to fly it. You got it on a table. You put in your battery, secure your canopy, and, and the airplane is disarmed right now. So when you're ready to fly it, you go ahead and you plug in your uh, plug, just like this, and it really just fits right in, and you push it down into place. All right, now the airplane is armed, the motor is energized, and uh, you're ready to go fly. Now, they named this arm safe appropriately because it really is the safest way to operate a plane like this where you do not have quick access to the battery. Um, let's say you plug in your battery or let's say you're flying or you're, uh, you're uh, um, getting ready to go out to the, to the flight line and fly or for whatever reason, let's say you see smoke or something. Well, you got to get a screwdriver out to open up your canopy but not with arm safe. With arm safe, if you ever have a problem, you can pull your plug out and now you have de-energized and as the airplane as if you have unplugged the battery. Let me go ahead and put it back in one more time and you can see how nicely, yeah, there we go dropping it, you can see how nicely this thing fits in. All right, now we're safe to fly guys. Um, one more item, one more thing I would suggest guys, uh, if you go this route, which I think is really the best way to go for this kind of airplane, um, I would suggest getting a second arming plug. Um, it's red, it's easy to see, however uh, this is the kind of thing that I bet uh, you could drop it and, uh, and, and lose it pretty quickly. So it's not a bad idea to have a second arming plug just sitting around uh, in case you lose your, uh, your primary plug. Uh, anyway guys, uh, without a doubt I can highly recommend this thing. I am probably going to have one of these in every electric airplane that I have where I can't get at the battery uh, quickly because um, it just it mounts nicely. Uh, it's definitely the safest way to go. It's just a really uh, super nice product. Um, check this thing out guys at uh, sharprc.com. Uh, they're sold right here uh, in the USA and um, um, they're, they're just a few dollars to get one guys and it really is uh, the best way to go. Uh, anyway guys, I appreciate you checking out this video. Thanks for stopping by, checking out RC Informer and we'll see you next time.